1. What is the primary purpose of adding airing training agents to concrete? A. Increase strength. B. Improve workability. C. Enhance durability in freeze-thaw cycles. D. Accelerate setting time. 2. What is the standard slump range for concrete used in structural columns? A. 0 to 2 inches. B. 3 to 5 inches. C. 6 to 8 inches. D. 8 to 10 inches. 3. Which cement type is most commonly used for general construction? A. Type 1. B. Type 2. C. Type 3. D. Type 4. 4. What does the water cement ratio primarily affect in concrete? A. Color. B. Strength and durability. C. Aggregate size. D. Cement hydration rate. 5. Which of the following is not a typical test performed on fresh concrete? A. Slump test. B. Compressive strength test. C. Air content test. D. Temperature test. 6. What is the main purpose of curing concrete? A. Accelerate the drying process. B. Prevent moisture loss and maintain hydration. C. Reduce aggregate size. D. Increase slump. 7. Which of the following is a common type of admixture used to delay the setting time of concrete? A. Accelerator. B. Retarder. C. Plasticizer. D. Aaron Trainer. 8. What is the maximum size of coarse aggregate recommended for concrete and slabs with a thickness of 4 inches? A. 1 inch. B. 1 and a half inches. C. 2 inches. D. 3 inches. 9. When is the standard compressive strength test typically performed on concrete cylinders? A. 3 days and 7 days. B. 7 days and 28 days. C. 1 day and 3 days. D. 14 days and 21 days. 10. What type of concrete curing method involves covering with wet burlap or mats? A. Membrane curing. B. Water curing. C. Steam curing. D. Chemical curing. 11. What does ACI 318 primarily cover? A. Concrete mixture design. B. Building code requirements for structural concrete. C. Testing procedures. D. Concrete repair techniques. 12. Which factor has the greatest influence on the workability of concrete? A. Aggregate size. B. Water cement ratio. C. Cement type. D. Temperature. 13. What is the minimum concrete compressive strength generally required for structural applications? A. 1000 psi. B. 2000 psi. C. 3000 psi. D. 5000 psi. 14. What is the significance of the bleeding phenomenon in fresh concrete? A. Excessive drying of concrete. B. Water rising to the surface during settling. C. Cracking during curing. D. Increase in slump. 15. Which type of reinforcement is used primarily to resist tensile stresses in concrete? A. Steel rebar. B. Pre-stressed cables. C. Welded wire mesh. D. All of the above. 16. What is the recommended minimum concrete cover for reinforcing steel exposed to earth or weather? A. 1 inch. B. 2 inches. C. 3 inches. 
D, 4 inches. 17. Which of the following is not a cause of premature concrete failure? A. Improper curing. B. Excessive water and mix. C. Adequate air entrainment. D. Poor compaction. 18. How is the modulus of elasticity of concrete typically determined? A. Compression test. B. Tension test. C. Flexural test. D. Shear test. 19. What is the primary role of supplementary cementitious materials like fly ash or slag? A. Improve color. B. Reduce permeability and improve durability. C. Increase setting time. D. Decrease strength. 20. Which ACI committee is responsible for concrete testing and quality control? A. ACI 301. B. ACI 214. C. ACI 211. D. ACI 117. 21. What does the term segregation in concrete refer to? A. Separation of cement paste and aggregates. B. Uneven curing. C. Chemical reaction with admixtures. D. Thermal cracking. 22. Which test method determines the air content of freshly mixed concrete? A. Slump test. B. Pressure method. C. Compressive strength test. D. Soundness test. 23. What is the recommended maximum curing temperature for concrete? A. 100 degrees Fahrenheit or 38 degrees Celsius. B. 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 29 degrees Celsius. C. 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. D. 60 degrees Fahrenheit or 16 degrees Celsius. 24. What is a common cause of cold joints in concrete construction? A. Rapid drying of surface. B. Delayed placing of concrete between successive pores. C. Excessive water and mix. D. Use of admixtures. 25. According to ACI guidelines, how long should concrete be cured under normal conditions before removing forms for structural members? A. One day. B. Three days. C. Seven days. D. 28 days. American Concrete Institute. The American Concrete Institute or ACI certification test is a specialized exam designed to assess an individual's knowledge, skills, and competency in concrete construction and testing. The certification covers a wide range of concrete related disciplines such as field testing, concrete inspection, construction materials testing, and concrete laboratory testing. Candidates are tested on topics including concrete properties, mixed design, placement techniques, curing methods, and quality control standards. The exam combines written and practical components to ensure candidates can apply theoretical knowledge in real-world settings. Achieving ACI certification demonstrates professional expertise and commitment to industry standards, enhancing career opportunities in the concrete construction field. Here are the top five beneficial uses of ACI exam. 1. Professional validation. ACI certification demonstrates proven knowledge and skills in concrete testing, inspection, and construction practices. 2. Job qualification. Many employers and project specifications require ACI certified personnel for roles in construction, quality control, and inspection. 3. Industry credibility. 3. Industry credibility. Certification enhances reputation and trust with contractors, engineers, and regulatory agencies. 4. Improved quality assurance. 
Certified professionals help ensure construction practices meet industry standards, leading to safer, more durable structures. 5. Career Advancement ACI certification supports upward mobility in construction and civil engineering fields by confirming technical competence.